Geometry Dash 2.2 is an update that took six years to finally come out. And this is what y'all going to decide to make. This man, Robotop, worked tirelessly for years on end to make a grand update with so many amazing new features, but adding these stupid little faces as decoration objects completely overshadowed all of that. Camera controls? Don't care! Black holes? Don't care! Spinning Thanos? You know what? I absolutely care. Geometry Dash 2.2 has given us a lot to care about, to be honest. Platformer mode, the new swing game mode, thousands of new editor features, this is basically Geometry Dash 2 at this point. Robtop could have easily made this a whole new game and charged just $20 for it, but being the absolute chad that he is, he's giving us multiple games worth of new stuff just because he spent $2 like 7 years ago. Pretty good bargain if you ask me. Was 6 years kind of long for one update? Yeah, definitely. But that's in the past. Let's focus on what we do have now. Platformer mode truly is going to change the game forever. Robtop adding the ability to speedrun both main levels and user levels is genius, and it's sprouting a whole new sector of the Geometry Dash community. The GD category on speedrun.com is quickly growing to the top. And we've only had 2.2 for a few weeks at this point. The introduction of sound effects and all the new collectible items pair really nicely with platformer mode, and just truly makes Geometry Dash such a more immersive and interactive game now, which is amazing. Something I haven't seen a lot of people talk about is the brand new swing game mode, and I'm honestly quite surprised. I think this game mode has a lot of potential for extreme demons. There's definitely a very high skill ceiling, which I can't wait for people to start pushing towards. I think that as time goes on, this game mode will grow on a lot of you guys, but it's it's just really new right now. It's personally in my top three already, number one being my beloved robots of course. Another thing is the editor. The editor is freaking insane. I honestly have been too busy grinding moons, opening Pokemon cards, and doing my taxes to really mess with it too much, but the creating community has already been going crazy with the new features. There's two new triggers that stick out to me the most, the first being the particle trigger. With literally one object, you can make a freaking space vortex. And if you bump it up to maybe five objects, you can make a black hole. Imagine showing this to someone who played Geometry Dash 10 years ago. I think the gradient trigger has the most potential though. Right now, people are still learning how to use it, but even then, we've already seen some crazy realistic animations using this trigger. 2.2 is in its early stages and we're already seeing stuff like this. <laughs> I think it's funny to compare early 2.2 to the first couple weeks of update 2.0 back in 2015. All of the early 2.0 levels just look like this. Looking back, they certainly have their own charm, but uh, many of them haven't exactly aged the best. But we all know the true highlight of 2.2 right now is the lobotomy levels. This stupid green smile has become the face of Geometry Dash 2.2, and this stupid sound effect- in the hole! Hey! I said this stupid sound effect <clears throat> has become the jingle for 2.2, and you know what? Good. Because Geometry Dash is finally getting the recognition it deserves through many channels that normally don't cover the topic. I think some other notable things that have happened is Mario already having an exact recreation in 2.2, the dawn of platformer Extreme Demons, Mario Kart being recreated, wait. Is this even legal anymore? This has got to be breaking some sort of copyright law. I think an even bigger threat is the official icons ripping off other popular franchises. We have Sans from Undertale, The Mandalorian from Star Wars, Meta Knight from Kirby, Majora's Mask from Zelda, The Ghost from Destiny, tons of Mario characters, and so much more. Nintendo is known to not take copyright infringement lightly, having a history of taking down fan games for stealing their creations. This honestly kind of worries me, but at the same time, these new icons are freaking awesome. I can be Mega Gengar, which you can't even argue was just inspired. That's literally Mega Gengar, bro. Hey, enjoy 2.2 while you can, because Nintendo might take down Geometry Dash, and then I'll be out of a job, and a life. Bye then!